What's going on, guys? So today on this Shoki third-party transforming thing that turns into a box, we have something new, sort of, because I've had this for months now, uh, from 52 Toys. Sorry, 52 Toys. It's been a long time. And it is their BB-32 Demon Dart. And it is at least of the first release of their new Beetle series, in a way. Because there are several of them that have come out, including a really cool special edition gold one that comes in a big ridiculous box that I had no way to access. And I'm very jealous that that exists and I can't have it. Anyways, so this is the BB-32. You know, you got a nice little schematic breakdown of the guy there. The newer 5-2 Toys logo. You also got the 5th anniversary logo there with the D10 or Dio. Or Dio. All the things. You got the window there. He normally would be right there. His little box thingy would be here. And then you got the Beast Box stuff in the background. Looks cool. Come around here. You got Beast Mode. Box Mode. And you come to the back. Instruction. There he is right there. Looking pretty cool. I don't know why it says instruction. There's literally nothing back here that's instruction about it. Then you got his weapons. You got a normal mode. You got flighty mode, sort of. And then you've got a uh, box mode made in China. Yep, that's the thing. And you got zero to three-year-olds can't have this toy. Sorry about your damn luck. And you got mechanical designed by whatever's happening right here. And then all the stuff there that I can't read because it's in Chinese. And I'm not. And you come around here and you got... Well, I, I don't know what's going on right there. But look, it's pointing. It's got a hole. I don't, I don't know what else it's pointing at there. Oh, caution! In big letters. Okay, so that's enough of that box. Let's look at that box. Ugh, there we go. I'm going to scooch the camera in just a little bit. Uh, now, normally, before I get to the box, I'll show off the rest of the stuff that came in the packaging, but because I'm an idiot, I didn't do that yet. So let's look at the stuff that's in the packaging. All right, so there's this card. Pretty hefty. You know, it's pretty good. Actually, I really like this artwork. It looks like he's coming through some kind of digital portal, and there's extra beetles along the way, like a Hercules and other types of beetles. That's pretty cool. So, yes, there are other types of beetles. I'm going to try to get a couple of them. Uh, the, in, in, in general, at least where I get stuff from BBTS, they're all running behind by many, many months now. It kind of sucks. However, other websites seem to have foregone the lockups at the ports and gotten stuff regardless whereas others get denied i don't understand how that happens but it is what it is there's a whole list of stuff that i want to get right now i've just been kind of good trying to be better with my money uh so i'm just going to get slammed with a whole bunch of pre-orders later so there he is he's got his defense intelligence speed courage strength and then despite being a veteran of the caval cavalry amor uh, Demon Dart is troubled by his rookie's face, although the the corp disbanded, or core, sorry, it should have an S on it, I believe, disbanded ages ago, he still keeps some of those old-fashioned habits, and never adopt the noise suppressor is one of them. Great English translation, gotta love it, at least I try, I'll give him credit. Uh, we also get catalog, I have no idea what's in this catalog, I've never opened it literally until this moment. So, oh wow, there's a lot. Okay. So we got the uh, Dio Dio D10 1.5, the heavy armor version, which I've never got to have, which really sucks. I did have the 2.0 on, on order. I have not gotten it, obviously, or else you guys would have seen it by now. Helldiver, Helldiver heavy armor, once again, never available. Or anywhere where I order stuff from, those versions never came out. Um, let's see, Frosty Crab, that's one I never got. Uh, Thrash Hard Jawbreaker, I have both of those on pre-order. Jetsam is there. Uh, I'm pretty sure there's supposed to be another Jetsam coming. Okay, so Dark Wave Stargazer, we've looked at. Teardrop Shakira, Tornado, or Torido. We've looked at Darknet, Big Power, Leviathan. I have almost everything on this side. Let's come back over here. Ah, the Black and Gold Dragon, I wish I could have gotten. Normal Dragon, I do have. Uh, Deep One, I have that version. I don't have that Landbreaker. I've got that one, though. And we got whatever this series is from, the Getter Robo series. Don't care that much. Penguins, I uh, have the regular one. Didn't bother with the Glacier. Uh, Banger, which is the Tiger, uh, did not get Rhinoceros. I did have one of the Tigers on order. Uh, I mean, Torito is basically a Tiger anyway, so... Rhino, Hippo, those are, those actually, uh, oh, that's all that one set, never mind, this all comes together as one big set, I forgot, 
Uh, I did want to buy that set. Predator, I don't have. This alien, I do have. This power loader and xenomorph queen, I do have. So I have many things that are in this catalog, and I have many things that are not in this catalog that I want to have. I'm just going to throw all that stuff down here. There we go. And as usual, you get the instructions, which I uh, I had to I had to consult like once because I couldn't figure out how something came out. I did do an out the box on this uh, particular thing, and you know it was a lot of fun. I was I really really enjoyed this particular thing. I did have one small issue, and I'll talk about it as we go. Um, I fixed it, but uh, there was an issue. So open up the box charger, and by the way, of course. Uh, look at this. I like how they're slightly frosted on the sides, but then really clear through the front and side back. I like that. Now i got to wonder if this is going to just yellow over time or become less clear. It's entirely possible. But here he is in his cube mode, box mode. And for size comparison, here he is next to a D10 or a DO or a DIO. Either way, uh, I don't know. This is the regular one because there's no hole. So that's good to that know. And I don't have Wally available, but I do have a Grimlock from DX9. If you know how big that is, that's how big that is. Wally is somewhere. Uh, I have. To, I still haven't unpacked everything because my room is not remotely finished, set up, and I need to do all these reviews before I get that far. Now, that's what happened. So let's go ahead and transform him up. Uh, I forget where to start, but let's, I think we should start with the wings here. So they unplug from right here. Come on, there we go. Alright, so there's a weird like L-shaped slot there, that tab there, so we just pull the wings out. Like so. I guess you, you can't pull the head out yet. Uh which way do we go with this? It, it's been it's been a couple months since I'm after them. Okay. Oh we gotta unplug the legs. There we go. So the legs are attached here on these little tabs like that and then that allows us to unfold them in a way so you just unfold your unfold your uh beetle friend so you can come up here to these front legs they are tabbed in right here go ahead and extend it and then just rotate down pull that out extend rotate down grab the horn Go ahead and unfold that. Just leave it be. And then for the legs, they kind of fold. They're going to fold up and under. But we also need to flip these guys forward. So the wings do some craziness here. So let me rotate these back. Yep, leave that out so it's going to rotate. And then rotate them which direction am i looking at here i feel like a dumb am i doing a dumb did i rotate them the wrong way no that's right oh okay that's what i was forgetting okay so these this part has to flip up i knew something was up so these flip up on a double hinge like that. I knew I knew I was missing something. Sorry, once again, it's been a couple months and I didn't refresh myself. I'm just doing this at literally 6 a.m. You get tabs, holes, tabs, slots. And you can close these up like so. And then the body claps into there. And then the legs will come under. So you got a couple tabs here that will go into those slots right there. Unfold unfold kind of finagle your ball joints however you need to and just get him good enough that he will stand on his own i think we're good yep we are good and there he is there's our demon dirt boy all nice and transformed up looks good it's a very cool looking beetle. I forget if this is this is not is this a staghorn? It might be. I can't remember. I don't remember all the different types of things. I know a Hercules beetle has like the thing and then or maybe this is the Hercules. All I know is it looks a lot like a particular Pokemon. 
Um, white paint here. You got orange translucent here around the eyes, which does look cool. And yes, will glow under black light. I uh, don't have my black light in here at the moment, but it would definitely do that. You got his faction logo there, which I think is the insect faction. Gold paint, blue paint. Looks pretty cool. And you got there, little tritomos, whatever those are for. And then you got blue, white, open. Okay, caution. Blue paint back here on what looks to be a thruster. More blue paint throughout there. So on and so forth. And then you get stuff kind of sticking out. As for articulation, you got ball joint here, hinge there, hinge there. So you can kind of get the legs to do a few things. The front legs are a bit more limited, so, you know, they're also up high compared to the rear legs. So it is what it is. So there's that. The head will have some movement, but not just yet. So the other cool thing is you can open up the shell like so and make it look like he's about to fly because he does have flight he does actually have some wings which is cool so you can fold that out like so and he's got wings though so because this actually kind of has a, a purposeful alt mode as it were uh, let's just go ahead and do it so now this is going to be a little bit of a shoky interpretation versus the thing so let's close these up I'm going to close up the legs and tuck them under. This, this is how I do this. You don't, you don't have to do it. Actually, don't tuck them under. Just make them flat. There we go. Same thing with the front leg. So just sort of flatten out your legs. Because you don't need them anymore. You're flying. Okay, so now your wings are doing their, their thing. Actually, you can go ahead and tuck these up like we're going into box mode. That's even better. Let's do that. And then for like his super high speed mode, I believe you fold this back and you fold this out. Oh, damn. You can't get that out because his weapons are here. Now, this is one thing that really does actually legitimately annoy me. You got the little translucent ball joint there and I have to plug into there. You ever really, really wanted to tug on a translucent ball joint in a spot you can't actually get any torque? Because that's what you got to do to get this out. Ugh, and you don't know if you're breaking it or elsewise. So this flips up and becomes actually like a visor, which is cool. You don't have to actually tuck the thing away. You can pull it out. And then actually his nose can come down. So it actually is like a jet, which is honestly pretty cool not gonna lie now you can take these and plug them in right here which is one of the recommended spots so he's got missiles up top you could also plug them in on the wings so that's a much tighter fit realistically also looks good now whether or not this is the exact way to do his flight mode that I, you know, I, I don't read those things. I just, I just come up with my own shit, basically. So there he is in his cool ass flight mode, and you can leave these up for effect if you want to. But I like him tucked down. Thing looks cool. I love that they even add here, look like a targeting reticle over his eye. That's pretty badass. That's very, very cool. Now, when I first opened it up, I'm like, why doesn't this move? Why can't this go anywhere? Speaking about this part, yeah, it's kind of annoying. I guess maybe, because those are the holes they go into, maybe you could put that under there. Not entirely certain. Could do. Maybe. All right. Um, but yeah, it was actually very cool. Now, what I want to talk about just real quick was the issue I had. And I don't know if this was a major issue or just something that I had going on. And it had to do with these screws right here. And I don't know which side it was. But as I was finagling the wings and stuff like that, just, you know, playing around with it, it literally came apart on me. And it's just because the screw either wasn't threaded all the way in or it came unscrewed. Either way, just took one of my small screwdrivers, put it back together, and it was fine. Oh, yeah, I guess, like, he kind of dunk, he dunks down. Okay. It's kind of funny. Get a quick picture of that. And for a quick size comparison... There he is with a DO RD10. That's clearly a one, not an I. So that's pretty awesome. You can see he's actually pretty sizable. And, you know, compared to like the spiders and uh, 
what else like the crabs and stuff like that he's kind of on par with that in that size scale so it's gonna be pretty cool like it, eventually i do want to do like a whole dio for my beast box stuff and that's not that kind of dio i mean a diorama and i actually do want them to be like in a world kind of for themselves have these guys like climbing up tree branches and stuff like that just, just kind of want to do that. You know, give them a good display. Give the ones that swim a nice little underwater world. Like a, build a fake almost aquarium for them. Be swimming about. Now, the thing is, these legs don't have a ton of tension. So they might not tr hold his weight up all the time. The hinges here have a lot of tension. These don't. So kind of wherever those are kind of locked out at their max position. Might be where it stays. But... You never know. And yes, I do follow them. So I have seen all the upcoming releases. I've seen that new pterodactyl and stuff like that. And I've somehow seen people who already have like a brand new release that they just announced. So some people who don't live in this country actually have access to a lot of cool stuff that I don't have. And I'm jealous. Also, yeah, you can totally just put the weapons on his back and leave them in beetle mode. Because, I mean, the beetle mode is just cool in and of itself. I mean, look at that. That's just badass. That does so badass, I'm going to take a picture of it. Like that. And then, once again, Dio there for size comparison. Or, if you're remotely interested, there is next to, ow, a Legend Scale Transformer. You know, he could literally, like, be chasing it. A giant, giant beetle chasing after a car. No! Kind of thing. But, I digs it. I digs it a lot. It's a cool one. I can't wait to get my hold of other ones like the blue guy that I think is the Hercules or Staghorn. Which one? I don't know. I don't care. This could be the this could be the Hercules and the Staghorn is the one that has like the prongs like that. Either way, that's the blue one that's coming up. They should have more coming as far as I know. And the gold one would be badass. But there's no way for me to get that. Is it a Kuagara? I don't remember. Either way. But guys, that's going to be it for this review. Make sure you check out the rest of the 5-2 Toys playlist. There's quite a lot of them. And uh, yeah, hopefully I will be getting more of the ones like uh, the different recolors and stuff like that that have come out of the different dinosaurs that have been released. I have none of the like Stegosaurus version. Uh, there's three of them out and I don't have a single one yet. Uh, so I need to get all of those down the line. But once again... You know, my money gets spread pretty thin nowadays with the very large other robots that I gotta buy. On top of all the other really cool stuff that's coming out that's all been stuck. And I should have by now, but I don't. And it sucks. So, hopefully down the line I'll be able to catch up and get more of these figures. But, until then, I'll see you next time. Oh, and uh, make sure you go check out the Taro video where we get into fit back in this box. So, see you guys then.